who I'm busy in the kitchen at Alba Cottage. This is Sandy. I am suburban homesteader, Wyoming, Arizona. Today is really a fun day because I've been working on a collaboration with Karen and her channel is In the Kitchen with Karen. And I've, I've had her in the hot seat before, so some of you are familiar with her. Well, we've come together and we've made salts, salts that you can use and salts for the kitchen. Because a lot of times we get in this rut and we're just using salt and pepper, just regular table salt, pepper. But why not enhance those things that you're, you're cooking, you're eating. And so we've come together in a collaboration and we are going to show you how to make three different salts each. So Karen's going to have three different ones on her channel. I'm having three different ones here. But I'm going to show you how I made them. And then I'm going to show you how you can win some of those salts so that you can use them in your kitchen. And the salts that I chose to make, I made some smoked salt in which I smoked for about six hours. Sometimes I do it less, sometimes I do it more. But the salt that I made that I smoked was pink Himalayan salt and I used apple wood. I'm gonna show you how I did that. The next salt that I made was tarragon salt. And I used ground Himalayan salt, though you could use any kind of ground salt that you wanted to. I grew the tarragon in the garden last year and dried it. Now I love tarragon on meats, on eggs, and I really like it in salads. So this is an easy way to add it to those. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. The last one I did was vanilla bean salt. Now you may say, vanilla bean salt? But this is great when you're making desserts or caramels because you have that taste of salt and then you have that taste of sweet, the vanilla. And I used whole vanilla Madagascar beans, organic. And I'm gonna show you how I made that too. All very simple that any of you can make but you might as well see if you win first before you make it. So you're gonna have a whole week before Karen and I draw, but I'm gonna tell you at the end how you can win from me, from Karen, and from both of us. So let's talk about salt. Now one thing to remember when you're smoking salt, the larger the granules of salt, the more the smoke adheres to the surface. Because these are large granules right here. I wouldn't put that on my breakfast, they're too big. But because it has so much surface area and the smoke flavor can adhere to it, I can just grind that. And, oh, it's a fabulous smell. That apple wood is just amazing. And you can use hickory or cherry or a lot of different kinds of wood amazing. Now when I smoked it, I actually smoked this, some Celtic salt and some kosher salt. Now here are the three different kinds of salts I was smoking that day. Just because if I'm going to smoke one salt, I might as well smoke a lot. The first gray one was the Celtic salt, then the Himalayan salt, and then this white is a kosher salt. And you can see the Himalayan salt and the Celtic salt are much larger grains of salt. And I put it in my smoker. I fill my smoker tube with the apple wood or whatever flavor you'd like to use. And then about every hour, you wanna stir those. You wanna take your spatula or a wooden spoon and it makes it so it just gets more and more smoky throughout the process. When it gets all the way done, I like to store them in glass jars. You can store them in whatever size jar you want to. I had these on the counter, so I'm using the large mason jars. But a glass jar really helps it. And I put the lid on tight so no moisture is getting into my salt. Let's see our next salt. Now this is a kosher salt, and I am gonna use vanilla beans. 
and I have two whole vanilla beans. They're organic, they're Madagascar, and I just want to bury those in the salt. Now you can put the lid on and just shake it up if that helps you to get that vanilla bean down farther, but you really want all the vanilla beans covered. And so just push it around so that they're all covered and you're going to wait. You're going to let that sit and just have that flavor come through. The other salt that I did was a Himalayan salt that I needed to chop up. So I use a coffee grinder. I use this on my herbs and it just works easy for me. And I grind it so it's really a pretty fine grain because I want it to be able to um, go through a salt shaker if I need to. And I just open it up every once in a while to make sure that it's starting to really get a small grain. I pour it into the container and then I'm going to grind up my tarragon that I have dried last fall so that I can mix it. And see there's the tarragon dried and I just throw it into the um, grinder. I haven't washed it. Doesn't matter that there's salt in there because it's all going into the same container and I'm just grinding it up. It grinds up very fine and very fast. And then it's just a matter of mixing it up. And then I let it sit. And I like to really let them sit for about a month before I use them. So that flavor is just melded together. And I just love tarragon. So I made tarragon salt, vanilla salt, and then I just made some vanilla sugar just for the fun of it. And as you can see, I did it April 20th. And so it's been sitting and I have shooken them up every few days so that just I make sure that it's just really incorporated into everything. And then you can put it in any kind of fun jars that you want to. I just happen to like glass jars and I love glass jars with corks. They're easy to open and shut. Um, so, so wasn't that fun? I hope it inspires you to mix your own salt. My next project that I haven't done yet is I'm actually going to smoke some peppercorns. I got the peppercorns in the cupboard now and I'm going to smoke them. Now, how can you win? That's always the question. How can you win? I love giving away prizes. You know me. If you watch my channel very long, you know I love giving away stuff. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to live in the continental United States. So it's easy for Karen and I to mail these to you. To win my first set, all you have to do is be one of my subscribers, leave a comment below, and next Friday we'll draw. Now, if you're so inclined, I want you to go over to Karen's channel. Go over there, watch her salt video. They're coming up at the very same time subscribe and come back and leave a comment that said, I subscribe to Karen. Then you go into a, a drawing that you can win another set. And if it's at all possible, Karen and I are going to do a live next weekend. She just moved to a new house. The internet's not quite what it's supposed to be yet. But if it, it's all possible, next week we are going to do a live. Otherwise, I will just post the winners on next Friday night. I'm so excited and I love these little jars. I love corked glass jars, but all you got to do is just open it up. Oh, salt and vanilla is incredible. I'm going to use this when I make caramels next time. I like adding vanilla salt to lots of different desserts. But every once in a while, you can add it to a salad. And that gives you an interesting flavor. Or add it to some rice. Now the tarragon salt. I grew the own, my own tarragon. I dried it. And then I ground it up. Then I ground the salt up. And I've had it sitting. Literally for weeks. And the smell is just 
If you haven't ever smelled tarragon, it's kind of an anise and licorice kind of flavor. It's very subtle and amazing. I love adding it to salads. I love it with breakfast, meats, ah, and sandwiches. If I'm making um, a grilled sandwich, so good to add. But I'm gonna, I hope you enjoyed watching how I made all of the different salts. And now I hope you go over to Karen's channel, watch her salt video, comment on it, come back over here. Let me know that you subscribe to her channel. If you're already a subscriber, just let me know. You're not excluded from the, the drawing. And next weekend, we are going to tell you who our winners are. I will see you there.